Hello again and welcome back. Today I am very excited to be partnering up with Lanier once again. You guys, I, I've told y'all how much I love the jewelry and I thought I would do things a little bit different in this video. I thought we would kind of chat ways to kind of look uh, a little bit more put together. Of course, Lanier jewelry has a lot to do with it. This is my everyday jewelry. If you follow me on Instagram, chances are you will always find me wearing some sort of Lanier jewelry. I just love the simplicity of the jewelry. It's beautiful, it's modern, it's just different, uh, very feminine. So if that's something that you're into, then just keep on watching. And before we start, I do want to mention that Lanier did give me a promo code to provide to you guys for a special offer. Just use promo code Maria S. Munoz at checkout so that you will get that special offer. I have also provided a link down in the description box. If you click on there, it will take you over to basically kind of like my storefront where you'll see all the jewelry that I have shared here on YouTube, past and present. Definitely go check out that link and use promo code Maria S. Munoz again for that special offer. So without further ado, let's get started. First, I do wanna talk a little bit about the brand just because I absolutely love partnering with brands that really align with like my ethics and my values. Of course, I love that Lanier is female founded. The co-founders Jennifer Chong and Roman Khan actually send you a little um, note that is included in every purchase and it has a little bit of the history of the brand. Lanier is a Norwegian word that means lines that kind of plays up to the kind of style that you will find at Lanier, which is like simple, clean line, just very minimal. Um, and that's what I really love about the line. Lanier is also a sustainable jewelry brand. What I love is that they use sustainable sources to make the products. Another great point is that it is very affordable, especially for the type of quality that you are getting. As there is less overhead, they're not having to mark up their jewelry in order to pay storefronts and all of that. Getting that high end, like expensive pieces at a much lower cost. The jewelry is made from sterling silver that is plated with vermeil. So if you're not familiar with vermeil, it's five times stronger than most gold plated jewelry. So you can rest assured that there is longevity in your jewelry and it's not gonna fade if you accidentally shower with it. I have some earrings that I actually shower them all the time and they have still look very beautiful and vibrant and just absolutely gorgeous. Speaking of earrings, one of the earrings that I'm actually wearing right now is these right here, which I absolutely love. It was one of the pieces that really caught my eye. If you can't tell, like, I am really loving their uh, pearl collection. Like, I just kind of jumped at the chance to grab all the stuff that they had that were pearl accents. So these are the Rebecca hoop earrings with the little pearl. The pearl's actually detachable, so if you wanted to, you could take off the pearl and then just have these really dainty hoops. I love it because on the back, it's kind of like a, an infinity hoop. Like there's almost like you can't tell where it begins and where it ends. So again, very minimal style, very like just put together. And that's really one of my tips when it comes to looking put together is obviously putting some sort of adornments on your ears. I think it's an easy way to look a little bit more put together, especially, which is like my second tip is putting your hair back. So I am very like, my hair can be very high maintenance. And also I have been working out a lot more, a little bit more consistent. So, and it's almost like every day. So when I wash my hair, I don't want to take the time to blow dry it. So what I will do is actually put it in a bun just like this. I'm sure you've seen the whole clean girl aesthetic with, you know, like the middle line and it, like this is, probably about 75% of the time you will find me with this hairstyle just because it's so easy and it looks so put together. So that's another way that I kind of like look put together. And I love it also because you can kind of like dress up or down this hairstyle. It looks good either way. I have gone to like a little bit more fancier events where I will do this hairstyle. And sometimes I'm just like in a tank and shorts on the weekend and I will do this and I still kind of like look put together. So, but obviously every time that I have my hair up, it has to go with some earrings. And these are my absolute favorite, you know, like the whole 90s trend, I just love that. So I was a 90s kid, so obviously the hoops, you know, with your hair slicked back, I just think it looks so, so nice. Another tip, obviously, when you wanna look a little bit put together is obviously 
the eyebrows. So my eyebrows, again, I mentioned I was a 90s kid. So obviously I overplucked uh, in my youth. And so now I have to fill them in. And so I noticed that sometimes I can go like no makeup on my face. But as long as my eyebrows are a little bit manicured and I fill them in a little bit just to kind of accentuate them and I put mascara on, then I look a lot more put together. So again, I don't like to fuss with too much foundation. Usually I'm just wearing a skin tint. So it's still like a little bit of coverage, but it's a little bit more minimal. But I do make sure to put a little bit focus on the eyes and then a little lip and I am good to go. Another tip for looking put together is adorning here in this area of the decollete. So obviously like right now in the summer, it's a little bit hotter. So you'll probably be wearing less clothing up top. So in this case, I'm wearing like a spaghetti strap top and I just have the mother of pearl necklace, but I also love layering with other pieces. So another piece that I have from Lanier that I want to share with you is this one right here. So as you can see, this is the packaging that comes whenever you order a piece from Lanier, you have like this very convenient carrying case that I actually use these like anytime I'm doing uh, like a shoot somewhere and I have to change jewelry. These little bags are very, very convenient. Make sure that I don't like just throw my stuff in like whatever luggage I have and it's easier to find. So all your jewelry will be in a little baggie like this. This is actually compostable. So again, we talked about, you know, sustainability. So this little bag, you can just either recycle or put it in a compost and um, it is earth friendly. So this is another piece that I got right here, which I absolutely love. This is the tennis bracelet and I have a hair on there. Obviously I was wearing it. I couldn't wait. <laughs> this is the jewelry right here and it's just so beautiful. It just looks so luxe, but I love it again because again, it's so dainty and very feminine and understated, but yet like it makes a statement, if that makes sense. Did I get that? Oh, wow. I got that in the first try. Look at me. So there you go. So again, very beautiful, very like delicate and feminine and simple, which I absolutely love. Such a great piece. Even if you don't have some earrings that, or you forget your earrings, if you have some sort of adornment here, I think you'll still be okay. Even if you have maybe not the hoops, but maybe you had like little studs, which are very like simple and understated. If you have a little bit of jewelry or adornment here on your neck, it still just brightens up your face and just makes you look a little bit more put together. And finally, my last tip for looking put together is obviously rings. So one of the latest rings that I got from Lanier is this one right here, which I think is just absolutely stunning. I told y'all how much I love pearl accents. So this is the latest pearl ring that I got from Lanier and I think it's so beautiful. It does differ a little bit from my last edition pearl ring, which is this one right here. So as you can see this one, I kind of call it like an heirloom ring just because of the ridging and the webbing here on the side. It looks kind of like an heirloom ring, right? So it's a little bit different. Like they're the same, but different heirloom looking one is a vintage mother of pearl ring. It's called Rebecca. And this one, which is a little bit more modern is the Margit and it's just absolutely stunning as you can see i love that although it's sort of like an oval it's a little bit more round so it kind of has like a little bit more uh modern design but it's just absolutely beautiful it's just so again it's just so understated but it's just still makes a statement because because it's so simple you know some of the other pieces that I'm actually wearing right here are from uh, past reviews that I have done. This one I absolutely love as well. This one is more of a braided detail, which I think it's gorgeous. This is called the Irene. And again, with the gold vermeil, you know that, I mean, I wear these constantly. Sometimes I even wash dishes with my rings on. And as you can see, like I've had this one for months and it still is gorgeous, still has that gold hue. It's just absolutely beautiful. The other one that I have is the Haley ring. So this one is really pretty because it has like the little accents here on the end. It's more of an open ring, but it has the gemstones on the end. So it's really, really like elegant. It kind of elevates the ring. 
but it's so beautiful. And just in case you're not a gold girly, that they do have them in silver as well. So definitely go check out that link that I have in the description below so that you can check out the jewelry pieces that I just shared with you. And again, a lot of them are available in the silver. So if you wanted the silver, you could definitely go check it out. Another item I wanna highlight is this little carrying case just because I think it's so adorable. So this is a little carrying case that you can also purchase on Lanier. And I've, obviously, as you can see, I put some uh, rings here. Sometimes I'll put an earring here. So if you don't wanna use the little carrying case, you can definitely get the little pouch, which I think it's so cute. And obviously you can carry a lot more jewelry in this case than in the other ones. Well, there you have it. Those are my simple yet practical tips on how to look a little bit more put together with obviously linear jewelry. Again, this is the jewelry that you see me wearing actually for the last few months, 100% of the time, there will be a chance that I'm wearing some sort of linear jewelry just because it's so beautiful and just, I love, like it fits my aesthetic to the T with how simple and like modern and feminine it looks. So if that is your style, definitely go check it out and don't forget to use my promo code Maria S. Munoz for a special offer. Again, the link is down below. Let me know in the comments which item was your favorite and also share some other practical tips that you do. So I know like another one would probably be like, make sure your nails are done, you know, like even just like a fresh little coat of paint just instantly transforms your hands. And obviously it just complements really well with rings. So go check out the rings, you'll love the rings. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not already a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscription button and ring that notification bell so you'll be notified of my next video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you found this video useful. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and we'll chat soon. Bye.